Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you an easy way to animate a tail by using Blender Soft Body. For the test animation, I send my model to Mixamo to have a fast ringing and cool mockup animation. I've been inspired by your tutorial from Magzong channel. I put a link in the description below. So I've imported the BitPix animation, set the end of the timeline to match the mockup files. I go to pose mode by pressing Ctrl Tab and select all the bones and then slide their keyframes a bit to the right. Then press Alt J and Alt R to zero the bones animation. Press I to have a key in zero and Shift D to duplicate this key to have a typo stay in a bunch of frames. Let's add a tail. I guess you know how to do that. Then the rigging part. Select the armature and go to edit mode. Select the hip bone and extrude the bone from its tip. Alt P to disconnect the bone while keeping the parenting. Place that bone at the base of the tail and give it a name. Right-click now to subdivide that bone and name the new one. It will be useful to animate the tail when your character is not moving. Extrude a bone from the tip of the last one by pressing E and place it at the end of the tail. Then again extrude another bone. Name this bone. Deactivate the deform option for all these bones except for the big one. Subdivide it into four bones. Then display them as B bones. Ctrl A to scale them. You can find this section there and assign the shortcut if it's not already there. Add more segments to these bones. I love segments. Put the bones in the right place. the shape of your tail, you may have to play with the Y in and out parameters. mode to check the parenting. Don't forget to name your bones. Parenting is okay. I use a trick to simplify the weight painting process. I make the tail a separate mesh. I delete all the vertex groups. Then parent to get the mesh to the armature. Due to the FBX coordinates, the tail went away, but it's okay. Select the tail in the outliner and press Alt-G and Alt-R, and voila! Now, join the tail to the character, Ctrl-J. Mm -hmm. 
and assign the base vertices to the hip support. Merge those vertices by distance. white painting is done. Back in object mode, it's time to set up the dynamics. Shift A to create a single vertex mesh. Blender switches automatically to edit mode, and the vertex is already selected. With that selection, create a vertex group and assign the max weight to it. In object mode, rename that vertex. Snap it to the tip of the first bone by pressing Ctrl while moving. Of course, your snapping option must be set to Vertex. Give the subject soft body dynamics. I found those parameters work pretty well. Then, shift select the armature and control tab to go in pose mode. Select the base and in bone and control P to parent the target object to the bone. Then select the tail one bone and shift ctrl C to give it a damp track constraint. In the constraint options, select the vertex group. Let's run a test. You get the idea. Duplicate the vertex target object three times to have one target by bone. Snap those targets to the tip of the bones. And rename them. According to my long testing hours for that tutorial, I decided to change slightly the parameters of the force target. Then go back in pose mode and repeat the process of parenting and constraining. Target 2 need to be parented to tail 1 bone and constrained for the tail 2 bone, and so on. For all the constraint options, select the vertex group created before. Let's run a second test. It's not bad, but the tail looks like a light piece of fabric. I need to see that there are muscles and bones in that tail. I could trick the power meters, but I found a more efficient solution. I will add helper bones. Duplicate the tail one bone to keep the constraint and the parent. I made a mess trying to snap and I ended up by losing the constraints, but I'll quickly fix it later. Get rid of the segments. This first helper bone has to be aligned horizontally and vertically with the base and the tip of the tail one bone. 
Remember Paul. Repeat the process in order to have help a bone for the tailbone too. mode to set the constraints. Select the helper 1, then shift select the tail 1 and press Ctrl C to copy bone constraints. Select helper 2 and shift select tail 2 and shift Ctrl C to add a copy rotation. Oops, wrong. Do it again. The helper first, then the tail bone. Good. Repeat that for tail 1 and the helper 1. Then for tail 1 and 2 bones, erase or deactivate the tracking constraint and for the copy rotation, switch to local space. Run another test. Yeah, that's way better. Check the animation board. It works fine too. In addition, you can bring the base of the helper 1 closer to the target. That will reduce the pain of your character. More seriously, it will boost the wiggle effect by increasing the angle of rotation. This animation is nice enough for me. See you later, guys.